Hello, it is from the very charming town of Arrogate in Yorkshire that I welcome you to Tesla Tour 2014. I am Gabriel Gatte. For the next three weeks, we are going to discover the most delicious and famous specialties of all the regions of the 21 stages of the Great Tour de France bicycle race. Along the road, I am so looking forward to visiting many colorful provincial markets and enjoying their festive atmosphere. I will take you into the magic world of the kitchens of great chefs and their best dishes. We will meet skillful modern pâtissiers and their gâteaux. How exciting to visit stunning places like the beautiful villages of Alsace, the vineyards of Beaujolais and the picturesque Pyrenees. I will taste and taste and taste this tour for you. I will toast with a glass of champagne to celebrate 10 years of Taste Le Tour. For the next two days, I am in beautiful Yorkshire, famous for Yorkshire pudding and for growing most of the English rhubarb. Janet Allroyd from Rothwell has been a rhubarb farmer all her life. Here in the rhubarb triangle for five generations now, every eight weeks we harvest one field in over 200 acres. And Every eight weeks, you've got young, tender rhubarb. So we'll be back here again. And the rhubarb that will have grown will have not got tough. So it's lovely, tender, spring Yorkshire rhubarb. This is a delicious modern version of rhubarb and strawberry fool. First, I heat three tablespoons of honey in a pan with some rhubarb and cook until soft. Next, I add some sliced strawberries and cook gently for about three minutes. Rhubarb and strawberries are so delicious together. I spoon a little cold rhubarb and strawberries into six glasses. I mix about one cup of mascarpone cheese with finely grated lemon zest. I add most of the remaining rhubarb and two cups of whipped cream. Using a table knife, I briefly swirl the mixture together, then transfer it into the glasses using a piping bag. Finally, I top with the remaining rhubarb. This rhubarb and strawberry fool is an edgeless British classic. Yum! No visit to Arrogate is complete without a stop at Betty's Cafe Tea Rooms. Established in 1919, it is a chic and comfortable institution with several rooms serving excellent casual and formal food to please all tastes. The contemporary savory food is light and elegant. The cakes and pastries are ranging from old world to modern. But in England, I do like the English do and treat myself to afternoon tea. A special treat of several gourmet sandwiches, a large and tender raisin scone, with cream and jam, and superb little pastries. Apparently, this is not the way to eat a scone. This is a French faux pas. I don't care, it's delicious. Tomorrow, I'm in the fishing village of Whitby in the north of Yorkshire to taste the great fish and chips. <laughs> 